go back, play it in my mind A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time Can't remember what it felt like We used to be so strong That picture perfect sky now Hey, welcome in I'm glad to have you guys back here I really wanted to paint a giraffe. I've been wanting to paint a giraffe, honestly, for years and years, and I just haven't. I've done some sketches, some quick, easy things in a sketchbook, but it happens to be uh, my aunt's favorite animal, and she has always said, why aren't you painting more giraffes? I have always painted from one section to another. I didn't do underpainting. I didn't do loose or flowy. And with a giraffe, doing that, uh, especially with the spots on the neck, creates a splotchiness. And every sketch I'd ever done in like a sketchbook looked horrendous. And so I've just been putting it off until my skill met what I needed for this. And I thought, maybe that's the time. Maybe it's the time now. And so I tried it out and it was nerve wracking because I have a hard time painting something I don't think I can succeed at, which is just honestly not the best instinct. In 2019 to 2020, I mean, I started painting um, January 2019. And in that year, I grew leaps and bounds. I, I really hadn't drawn much. I really hadn't painted ever with anything um unless you count those halloween um sculptures that that are created and then you paint on top of them kind of like painting minis i, I did do some of that with some of that like apple door dollar paint um but i'd never classically painted i'd never really done art and when i started painting I, I grew leaps and bounds very quickly, but I think it was because I painted every single day. I painted things I didn't know if I could paint, and I allowed myself to fail. And I think maybe during some of that time, time got very precious. Uh, I didn't have much time to do anything. So I started painting less of what I wasn't sure I could paint, and only painting what I knew I could succeed at. And I've noticed I'm not growing. I'm not growing because I'm not taking chances. I'm not growing because I'm not painting every day. I'm stagnating. So I painted a giraffe. And I know it's not a big deal to a lot of people. I mean, it doesn't seem like this thing, but I think I created, I put it on a pedestal of something I could only do once I got better. And so I pushed myself to do that um, today with you guys. And I wanted to record it so I couldn't wimp out when it got to this ugly stage that we're about at right now and go, uh, I give up. I want to get better at taking chances. Um, I'm restructuring my day right now. Uh, work has changed some. And so I'm going to have more time for art soon. And so I have been scheduling my day thinking, you know, how am I, excuse my cat. Uh, he's meowing because he's playing with the new kitten, uh, who is featured in this video because I couldn't stop him. So you will get some time with Rabbit today. Uh, but just excuse the meowing of my cat if you can hear that in the background. He's, he's, he's calling to him to play. As I was saying before, so rudely interrupted by cats living their lives. I am restructuring my day as soon as work changes over. I'm planning on setting aside a solid hour of nothing but painting so that I'll know that I am growing every day, I'm practicing, I am going to make sure I'm releasing a video every Wednesday once work changes, and I'm going to attempt to reopen my Patreon and open an Etsy offering commissions, and I'm excited about all of that, but I'm going to try not to do it all at once so that... I don't lose my mind because the pressure is real um, and I want art to still be fun.
what I say to him. I did not name him, but he he is the reason I can't have n nice hands or nice things. He, he uh, ate my um, car registration receipt the other day. I left it on my nightstand. Silly me. I didn't understand that that was uh, where the paper shredder was going to be that afternoon. Painting these ears was so satisfying. I don't always love painting ears. I mean, they're always fun to experiment with. I actually have a couple pages of ears in one of my sketchbooks. But painting that negative fur can often be labor intensive and sometimes not turn out as detailed as you want. But these ears were so satisfying to paint. I really enjoyed these. It's I, it's one of the few that I think I really succeeded in creating and building a lot of depth and texture. Like, they feel velvety to the eyes, I think. If that's a thing that can happen, I don't know. But I really enjoyed putting one in light and one in shadow and building them up that way and being bolder with my color choices, being more saturated with my paint. I really enjoy how these turned out. And it... I think it shows in how I paint the next one later on. I kind of save it for last, which is an odd thing for me to do. Usually I save the eyes for last so that I push through to the end of the painting and I make sure that I get everything done because they're my favorite to paint. But that first ear I painted was so enjoyable that I actually, I think I leave the ear for last and uh, that really says something. I also really was determined to create this cool warm shift from the right side of the face to the left, going from cool to warm. So I used a lot more uh, burnt sienna mixed with ultramarine on the right side of the face to kind of throw it into shadow, and a lot more uh, Van Gogh yellow ochre on the left side to really let you see that the light is hitting that side of the face. And um, you'll see it in the ear, too, hopefully. And the cast shadow from one of his horns, I hope I illuminated that as well. I was trying to make sure um, to add visual interest by temperature and light, trying to make it make sense to the eye without overdoing it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again next Wednesday. I am going to be really excited. I'm hoping to paint with my new uh, Rembrandt set. And I really want to tell you guys what I think about it. I just, I haven't even opened it. It's, it's still plastic wrapped and it looks at me every time I sit down to paint and reminds me that I can't be too busy for new paints. And I agree with it. I do. Um, I just got to find the time. So I'm going to leave you guys here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next Wednesday.